Hello and welcome to our Game 5 series of St. Xavier versus Ferris State University. It's a 2-2 two -two tied series here. Uh, St. Xavier won the first two games and Ferris brought it back, winning the last two. Now, Dylan, let's get over to the players here. Who do we got on these rosters? On St. Xavier, we have Chaotix, Barbara88, and Moro. Moro, so far, I think has been one of the star players. We're in our match setup now. Uh, we've got them choosing their arena now. Uh, Ferris winning 4-3 in the last game. I think they got a lot of momentum coming into game five, and I think that personally they're going to take it. I think they're going to be able to pull off a 1-2 win. We got a kickoff here. Aerial for Ferris State missed, and now it's Straff with the wide open aerial towards the goal. Centers it for his teammate, and it's a goal oh. early for Thanks. Ferris State starting off fresh out of the gates. It's pretty good. I mean, my prediction's already going well, don't you think? I mean, Ferris up early. It's, it's continuing that momentum that they've had early within this turn, uh, late in this tournament, sorry, with those two down, and then he spring back with a 2-2. Two -two. We got the kickoff here. Moro Bumps with it. an open goal, and it's missed. Off the crossbar. <laughs> Quite frankly, off the crossbar. You see, Dylan, these teams very highly contested here coming into game five. Yeah. We've got aerial attempts back and forth. Defensive positioning is gonna be a key to this game, don't you think? 100%. The defensive by St. Xavier's, excuse me. Hold up, we got a net here. And it's saved out of the center by St. Xavier. Attacking position for Fair is blocked by Chaotix. The aerial positioning is Chaotix has been really good, especially in the first game. He had a wonderful performance. Indeed, indeed. Do you think he's going to be able to bring back that performance from the first game, put well, it into this one? I'm hoping so, as we got this 1-0 uh, lead early. It's just, will he be able to surmount the differences of that? Back that? into the goal. And it's in by Ferris again with a 2-0 start early. I think it early. was bumped in by uh, a second two player. Was it now? It was indeed the error on the defense backing into the ball into their own nets. That's a blunder that they just, quite frankly, can't have coming into game five. The kickoff again. It's off by Morrow into the defensive half of Ferris State here. Everybody's grabbing their boost early. They've got an open net, and it's in for St. Xavier. Chaotix, like you said, he's warming up. He's starting it off strong for uh, St. Xavier after going down 2-0. Do you think this game has a chance of going to overtime from like what we've seen so far in the past series? They have been highly contested games. There is a large possibility of overtime. And the kickoff is stalled at the half line, but we have an open no net for Lee One. And, and it's he scored gets it. by Ferris off the deflection of St. Xavier. I mean. As of right now, this seems like a pretty one-sided game, offensively and defensively. Yeah, it's a, it was a promising start for Ferris State. They got that one goal in by Chaotix by St. Xavier, but just coming straight back and Ferris scoring off the kickoff is a good sign for their team. It might not be as close as we may think. Scar with his aerial. See it. The one and only taking it up the field to St. Xavier, having to defend it off the back left wall, headed up and defend. Thank you. I think they're trying to pinch it there. It did seem like an aerial pinch. And a demo by Chaotix to defend his net. Quite frankly, he seems to be their stud. I'm yeah. seeing a lot of him and not a lot of anybody else here. So that Fair State is just controlling the ball, getting it into St. Xavier's side most of the match. And Chaotix is trying to rally his team back here. Moro with the attack here. He has a okay, shot at the net. Wide open. Oh, Lee nice one. save by Lee. Chaotix, though, with the attempt. The assist goes off the left crossbar. Back to Moro, who couldn't quite get the angle. Moro sets up Chaotix here. Center of the net, and it's deflected by Star. Now, Star has been pretty, pretty good with their, uh, their saves so far in the series. What do you think of that? Well, if if they're saving goals here, it's it's quite good for them to be able to take that defense positioning and here obviously the offensive positioning that they're with standing and just yeah. constantly attacking. It's just a solid rotation piece to have in a defensive player like Star. 
And we just seen excellent and save by... And it's open net by Chaotix, and it's in, making it 2-3 to three for Z St. Xavier and FSU here. I mean, Chaotix, once again, we're seeing his name on the board for Xavier. I think I jinxed him there. I was going to say that was an awesome save by Lee before, and then it just went back into the net. Yeah, 2-3. to three. We got two minutes left in this game. Let's see if they can mount a comeback and possibly take this one. Chaotix got it off the kickoff. Wide open net for Morrow, and it's saved by Lee One, who gets there just in time, coming off the boost retrieval. Aerial and an error completely by Ferris State, just defending into their own half and knocking it into their own goal. Barber with the hit on net, and it's just completely, it must have been a miscommunication there. I mean, it's rough to get in those positions where you're hitting back into your own defensive side take back what I said earlier when it seemed like this was a lopsided game because of Xavier's defensive capabilities, but now we're seeing that Ferris's defense seems to be. And a goal by I Ferris think. State off the kickoff again. It's They were all scrambled into that tight right back corner for Xavier, and Strafe just comes through and rails it into the net, making it four to three here. Now See, we're gonna, this is crunch time here, Dylan. We got a minute 38 left and a one point game. We gotta see how both teams react and defend here. Another chance for Ferris, but there's not quite enough boost there. St. Xavier. In the air. Off the crossbar. We have Lee, it looks like, attacking the net, and Barber just happens to get back in time with no boost. Full boost here for Chaotix. He's got a shot on net, but he's stopped in the corner, and it's cleared by Lee. Star 1. So, no, Lee. Back in the defensive position is Star, as we stated before. Strafe trying to hit it up back into the attacking position, but knocked out by one. Morrow knocked it back in, set up for Barber. Barber with the aerial attempt centering it, but Star gets there, that defensive IQ. Chaotix now has a chance to, a chance to attack here. He's one on three, and it's the aerial defense by Star there just. What a save by Star there. They got 30 seconds. Think, 30 defense, seconds true. think the defense can hold out for this last 30 seconds? It, I have, I must say, Dylan, that Xavier is on the attack for the most of these minutes, uh, the minute that we had recently. It's, they've been in the attacking position the whole time. It's, it's tough to see where this is gonna go. Fair strong offensive attack in the beginning just is not there anymore. And Chaotix rebounding back. Eight seconds here. Do they have, they have one final attempt to score here. Morrow up, running to the side, trying to get a center to his teammates. He attempts to get in, and it's in. Oh, We've got an overtime game here, Dylan. Over. Four to four. See, it seems like my prediction may be coming through strong in an overtime I victory. I really liked what Morrow did there. He set up Chaotix for that for that aerial bump in, because as we know, as the time runs out, if the ball touches the ground, it's game over. Game over. So yep. keeping that in the air is crucial, especially in those final moments with a one point lead. We're heading into the sudden death to win the series of this tournament. This is a big game for both teams here to win out the series. It's currently in St. Xavier's side. Chaotix with the shot, and it's saved by Lee One. 20 seconds into this overtime period, and we already have an attempted goal. Chaotix challenges the ball away to Morrow. Morrow with the aerial attempt, Ugh, and it's Chaotix quite can't get there before the defense stops him. Lee won with the attacking position now, but Morrow blocks it back. Bumps it off Star the in the center. It's a shot at goal, and it's, it's in for Star. That's, that's the first time we've seen them out of a defensive position this game, and it works out for them winning. The game for Ferris State here in with overtime. a goal in overtime. That is yeah. big for them. And they were down 0-2 in this series. They showed great perseverance. They came back, they won. We have Lee as the MVP. Two goals, one assist, five saves, two shots on goal. Now, Chaotix, as you pointed out early in the game, he had... He has potential with this team going forward. I mean. It was hard for them to get a start early um, with these goals 2 nothing, right off the bat and then Chaotix just rallies back and scores one and then that momentum continued on to where they were able to tie up the game and draw it into overtime but yeah. just didn't have it 
at the end there, it was a strong defensive positioning for them. They just couldn't secure it, you know? So that means that Ferris won this. They came back from 0-2 in the series. They won. They rallied back, won two games in a row, and won the series in overtime in Game 5. It just shows you how much momentum can solve your problems, you know? You got to keep in that positive mindset. The positive mindset controls the game completely, and it's just the way you got <laughs> to win this. And I think that's all. Thank you for joining us, folks. This has been the Shoutcaster Showdown. Peace.